So I have a, a great question today and it's about the feeling of being lazy and where that comes from. Kind of a, a personal history for, for one of the uh, people that contacted me. And um, of course this ties in greatly with procrastination, a topic I talk about a lot here on this little channel. And of course I think procrastination has nothing to do with laziness if you've seen any of my other videos. Before I get into this question, um, if you do want to follow up on procrastination and learn how to not procrastinate anymore, it is so simple to do. And one of the best investments you'll ever take will be to just solve this issue. And it can be solved for you within a day or two. So follow that link uh, below in this video. If you're interested in that, it will be one of the best investments you'll ever make in your life. Everything will change for you in terms of your goals and your um, well, there are other things to achieve after your goals too, after your, maybe your personal productivity goals. Again, getting that area sorted can be a huge help. So that's there, but I'm going to answer this question today because, uh, you know, the course isn't for everyone and uh, I want to answer some questions for people who maybe don't take the course. So this question starts, I can't shake the feeling that I'm just lazy. It's just an inner feeling that seems so real to me. Yeah, yeah, it's a belief. Beliefs feel real. That's what makes them beliefs for sure. So my dad, who is no longer, I no longer have a good relationship with, used to accuse me of this, of being lazy when I was growing up. It bothered me then and even now in the face of abundant evidence to the contrary, I still feel lazy. So in the, in the course, I talk about the formation of beliefs, where these beliefs come from, and this is exactly what it is. It's an early rooted, a seed takes hold at an early stage and it gets rehearsed and it finds all sorts of evidence. And later on, even if there's contrary evidence to it, it sticks. And without questioning and examining and uprooting that belief and getting rid of it, it'll always be there, it'll, it'll stay there. Even if you do amazing things in your life, which it sounds like this person has done. Okay, so, so I still feel lazy. I work all the time. In fact, I feel uneasy when I'm not working. So the fact that you now feel uneasy when you're, when you're, when you're not working, it's, it's, it's pointing to perhaps what they call a sub-personality you've developed. In other words, when you felt uncomfortable when you were younger, with being labeled with that lazy tag, right? Well, that was very difficult. And you then go on to a sub-personality, which is the exact opposite of that. And when you can't rely on that, which is when you're relaxing in things with something that doesn't fit into that mold of that sub-personality of the, maybe the hard worker, well, those feelings of anxiety or insecurity start to maybe resurface. So that's maybe one way of thinking about this to begin with. So I feel uneasy when I'm not working. It's very difficult for me to switch off work mode. I'm relatively successful and I wish I could enjoy my success more. Absolutely. But there's, there's this constant impulse to keep going, to do more all the time. It feels like I've never done enough. It's a feeling like if I take my foot off the gas, something bad will happen and I'll lose what I've managed to achieve. This is, this is where workaholism comes from. It's driven by insecurity. And this is also for many people where procrastination comes from. It's that label of not being good enough or insecurity about being called lazy or any other label when you you've been uh, accused of or labeled with when you were younger leads to all sorts of self-esteem issues and self-confidence issues and that is what especially self-esteem issues and it drives this thing of procrastination either it drives you into working yourself to the point where you you can't switch off or it, it becomes so over overwhelming you actually start to use procrastination as a weapon to belittle yourself unconsciously because the belief is unconscious. So I know it makes no sense 
Und why can't I get rid of the feeling? Okay. So I want you to think about something here. What was, was thrown at you when you were younger was a concept. Okay. So if you sit with that for a while, you will begin to notice something very interesting. Your belief is not that your behavior is lazy. Notice that it's never that you're saying to yourself, my behavior is lazy, even in those moments when you're relaxing or something. The belief will always say something like, you are lazy. So from your point of view, it'll sound like, well, I'm lazy. I am lazy. So really, it's, it's, it's basically pointing to there's a core fundamental existential belief that you at your core as a person, forget your behavior, are lazy, right? And there's nothing you can do behaviorally that will shake that because it's not attached to your behavior. It's attached to your identity. Okay, that's who we, if we're told that often in office as, as children or a young person, that's who we think we are fundamentally, you understand, okay? And that's then where we go into this thing of the subpersonality or the false image, right? Or another word for it might be your persona. And that persona is all a reaction against that initial pain or emotional insecurity. And it is the exact opposite of that, okay? Now, what will happen is you either fully, you, you actually embrace it and it, it starts to take over, which it has for you, or for many people who procrastinate and don't actually follow through and become workaholics, they find themselves chasing a persona like that. Okay. Now, whether or not you're chasing it or you're living it, in any case, it's, it's not really who you are as a person. It's, it's, a, it's a response to a situation you shouldn't have faced when you were younger, ideally. Okay, I'm not saying that you're a victim necessarily of this or anything like that, right? That's, that's not what I'm saying. But in an ideal world, you wouldn't have been treated like that. Okay, in, in a healthy society, young people wouldn't be talked to in those ways. So what I want you to start to do is realize who, who is it that's saying this? It's, the, it's not even you that believes the, the belief that I'm lazy. It's the subpersonality. It's the false image of yourself that actually says it. I know that's weird, right? But you existentially as a, as a human being, it makes no sense that you could be lazy. It's a false image or a, a persona a defense mechanism, right? A coping strategy that believes it's lazy or it's, it's not doing enough. So you can start to just watch that. Well, and ask yourself a question, who is saying this? Like if it's not my behavior that's lazy, then what's lazy? Me? How could I at my core be lazy? That just doesn't make any sense. Now, it, logically, it doesn't make any sense that you at your core as a human being could be just lazy, right? inherently but that's what the belief is saying and you begin to realize if you just sit with that and start to notice it how how crazy it is how crazy it is you know the, per the person I bet when you were younger your father maybe and, and I'm it's sorry to hear that you don't have a good relationship with him but he, he probably never said, you know, your behavior is lazy. You're demonstrating lazy behavior. It was no, you're lazy. You are a lazy person. So this is where the belief comes from. Now that doesn't make any sense because clearly you've demonstrated now anyway that you're not, but the belief is still there. So that's kind of too abstract what I've said so far. What I will say is this, what you need to start doing is Okay, the subpersonality is this, this guy who never stops working and you feel very insecure when you come out of that, right? So that's what you're attracted to because you believe that gives you safety. Now, that's what you could call your persona, right? The, now, the, 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 the tricky part with that is every persona has a shadow, right? And the shadow part of that is, well, you're lazy. And we don't want to look at that because it's painful and it's rooted in trauma. So we just deny that and we repress it and we keep it out of our awareness and we seek to be this persona, this persona, right? 
two parts to the solution in this is to really start to challenge that that thought that we don't want to look at which is i'm lazy and there's lots of things you can do in that just really start to question that belief that's that's one of the essential parts to this because it'll never get questioned if we don't look at it that's how it it, it sustains itself because we never we don't want to look at it right start to look at that and really start to question that is it true and do that habitually and then also look at start to question what you believe this persona is and why you're attracted so much to being this hard working person okay and it's not that you necessarily have to drop the idea of i'm a hard worker because that seems like it's helpful to you all you need to do with that part of it is reinterpret what it means to be a hard worker so right now really secretly what's going on is hard work really means sacrifice yourself drive yourself into i hope what isn't an early grave but this is what happens to a lot of people right um, push yourself never relax don't give yourself a day off don't have any self-care or downtime that's really what that persona demands a reinterpretation of so you can still say look i'm a very hard-working person but to, to start to reinterpret what it means to be a hard-working person hard-working person is yep i'm responsible i get things done and i take time off proactively because it's important and it keeps me and it's one of the it keeps me productive and it's one of the reasons why i'm so productive and successful okay so you don't have to drop it necessarily you do have to drop the belief in laziness though and that'll have to be questioned over time so um you know in the procrastination course i talk a lot about the formation of beliefs and i talk about how you can start to challenge those beliefs now it's not that hard anybody can understand it and anybody can do it and it sounds like maybe you're getting to the point where you're thinking to yourself i'm fed up with this i want to start enjoying my success a little bit more and that's exactly where you want to be with this right then you're ready to say look this sub personality or this persona that i i used for for many years maybe it did help me okay there's nothing wrong with that it did help me but now I need to start to reinterpret it and let it go and let it take a day off every now and then, okay? Because it's going to bring you back into your genuine personality because there's nothing authentic really about that. It'll just drive and drive and drive and never give you any time to yourself. What we're looking for is who you are. And a part of that is, of course, I'm a hardworking person. Dropping that idea of laziness because that's not who you are right it's a, it's a very childish label that came from someone else's insecurity and not your own so um definitely there's some work to maybe start doing on that and it's work for all of us to do you know we all have these person sub personalities these personas and we all have the shadow part of it this just this is just how it looks for you but we all have different ones and uh, so much liberation when you start to question them so I really hope that was helpful and a really good question. And again, if you do have a question, um, just send me an email. And if I can answer it, if I think I have anything helpful to say in it, I'll uh, see what we can do. Take care and talk with you in the next video. Bye for now.